Yes, that's the vibe. I don't know if you can hear me. So how has it been going? 40 and up a hill. Getting there. Getting younger. I gotta develop something. Some type of catchphrase. But I decided to just make a video today to talk about how it's going. Since I've uh, turned 40, I've been on a off again, on again type of relationship with myself to uh, uh, on, on a quest uh, for self improvement. Off again, on again, more off than on. But um, so this is the backstory. I've said it before. I quit my job in August of 2019, last day of August, August 31st, 2019, I had um, a few things I wanted to do, I just finished 10 years, I, put, I just put 10 years in, in, a, in healthcare in a hospital, uh, in a lower level position, a rank and file position, I guess, ancillary staff, support staff position, 10 years in, and um, was not uh, advancing as how I wanted to and much of the reason for that is because I was not putting in the work I was expecting someone to just see me hey, he's a nice guy you know we got he's nice he's nice he's a cool guy but I was going to work late a lot I wasn't really doing what I needed to do to be an employee that stood out from the rest. So after 10 years of doing that, my wife and I spoke about it and um, eventually I quit my job. Now the quitting of the job has been something I've been thinking about for a long time and I didn't have a backup plan. I, had nothing. I didn't know what I was going to do, what I wanted to do. But I actually did sign up with TaskRabbit. So I quit my job and um, my job in August and um, I think I I signed up with TaskRabbit maybe in um, October I'm not sure when I signed up with TaskRabbit maybe it was before that but for a while I was getting uh, I had days that, that I was getting um I was getting like paid for like a month because I had vacation time saved up so I was getting a check like two or three months I was still getting a check and I think in December someone hired me for a job and our task had been canceled so and back then my rate was $17 an hour and they canceled so I got paid $17 an hour and I did not start on TaskRabbit again until the next year so 2020 June 2020 wow that's crazy um, June 2020 so between that time back in November 2017 I joined um, Toastmasters International Toastmasters of Columbia started doing speeches things like that so that's you know that's what I was doing I wanted to get into healthcare because I just came out of healthcare so I figured I liked healthcare I don't like the, the place where I work but I like you know the people and I, I like the job of helping people so I, I was sticking to healthcare for a while I was trying to um, get into the uh, part of self-improvement, uh, self-care part of healthcare. Uh, I've been outside. Let me get one side. Yeah, so I was, um, I was sticking to the healthcare uh, genre, trying to do something in healthcare, um, speaking to employees, trying to have like a coaching company or self-care organization or company. Then I started to think about uh, Opening a, a what you call a um, 
old people's home. I just thought about many things I could do to stay in healthcare. Yep, I don't know where I left off, but I think I was talking about my job and um, Task Rabbit. So yeah, let's let's start with Task Rabbit. Continue with Task Rabbit. So I started really going in on Task Rabbit and. Uh, <coughs> I was eating a fry, but not nah. <coughs> swallow some spit. When I didn't swallow spit, that's crazy when people say you swallow spit. My spit went down the um, trachea, the wrong hole, and anything foreign going down to your lungs, automatic cough reflex reaction. But anyway, started on Task Rabbit last year, June 2020, really seriously, because the whole time. For six months, I'm wondering how I'm not getting any um, hires, and I, I guess I was really, I wasn't really focused on it, but it was because I didn't set my availability to accept uh, clients. So I was like, man, for six months. Because in November, December, when I had it, I thought it was set. I thought it was on, but I didn't understand how the system works. So I just thought I had it on. Nobody's hiring me. I suck. But really what was happening was that um, I was not getting, it wasn't on. So six months passed, I was doing a lot of stuff. And then one day my wife says, said, you like putting things together. Why don't you just go on TaskRabbit and start assembling things? And that's what I did. Started with a screwdriver and a hammer. My first client was a lady that wanted a six drawer dresser from Ikea put together for mom I think it was a mom dresser six drawer dresser it's like about three feet tall long you know six drawer dresser and that took me like a long time but I was only charging like maybe 20 something dollars an hour maybe less than that I don't know but they task grabber starts you out with um a lower rate and every couple of jobs you do they give you the option to charge higher so as time went on and I did more assembling jobs, then I guess what they were, what task I would assume is that the more you do, the more experience you get and the more you can charge. And that's what was happening. So I kept going up and up and, and they also, uh, right now my rate, I lowered my rate a little bit because they also have this metric where it figures out, I guess, you know, how hot each job category is. So let's say, furniture assembly assembly is not hot right now so they will suggest that you lower your rate and I did that but um I have a five star rating on TaskRabbit I have about a hundred reviews um you know and ratings one person gave me four star and I know it was it was some two girls that I put together a table for and I don't know maybe they were you know stressing about how long it was taking so they gave me a four stars out of five and most everyone else has given me five stars um yeah so you know i'm i'm pretty good i try to be real nice i'm a, I'm a nice person i'm a cool person i you know it's like um whatever the customer client wants i'll do it i'm not big on hey i came here to do this i'm only doing this you know if i came to a assemble a nice stand and they want me to tighten a screw here and there or hang a picture yeah sure fine because you know it's just billy for the time it's not a problem or if i go to a job and the job is like like for 30 minutes and they say well do you have time to do and i would tell them hey you have me for an hour is there anything else you want me to do can i do something else or you know or they ask me to do something sure yeah i look at it so you know I'm real flexible like that. So I'm here on, on TaskRabbit, and um, there was a period of about a month or two, or, you know, last year, where I wasn't, uh, for a month, I was off of TaskRabbit because I got a job with a lady to do some odds and ends around the house, and I was there for a month. I mean, the, the, the things that she wanted to do could have taken should have taken like two weeks or less, but that was a situation that God brought me to my God. 
right? Because I needed that situation. So they have, and, and, and this year I've been off of TaskRabbit for like a month here and weeks there because I, I've been getting jobs and clients off of that to do things like, um, you know, I worked with my cousin and we did an entire kitchen remodel. You know, we did a couple of uh, rooms, painting rooms, cer certain th things like that. Uh, in, in the same building, you know, a real cool guy has to do some work in his building. His, I think it's a brownstone over there. Just, you know, buffing the floors and uh, restaining floors. And um, so that's what it's been. So right now, I feel like um, I need to focus more on TaskRabbit because um, I'm new to this game get some more experience because you know for a while I, I said you know what I want to design furniture I want to build houses I want to just now go to the next level and sometimes you know you have to trust the process and you can't beat time there's, there's no way to beat time unless you know I'm doing like so many of something in a day like Let's say the average person would like, let's say they're mounting TVs, they amount like five a day. If I want to beat time, I'd have to do like 30. You get what I'm saying? So it really can't be time. So I realize I'm just going to have to relax. And when it is ready, the universe will give it to me. When I'm ready, it will be there for me. Whatever I want to do. If I, you know, I have a, I have a lot of ideas. I, I want to do a couple of a uh, couple more YouTube channels about different things. Um, you know, I want to start designing some uh, furniture, just electronics. I have a lot of things I want to do, and it's like, okay, man, just start one, do one of them. You know, I have tons of things I want to do. Write books, write stories, a lot. Just start something, right? So I guess right now, you know, I'm focusing on TaskRabbit and just getting more, just doing more and see where that takes me. You know, eventually one day I want to have a company that's recognized worldwide. I want to build something big and huge all over the world. Build communities, help people cultivate something, grow something. You know, so that one day I can be able to, you know, travel, I don't know, just do things, man, um, you know, do, do, do some of those hiking trips they do in the jungles of the Himalayas, or it's not a jungle, the Amazon, something, just do things like that, be a free spirit, man, I know, um, so yeah, that's the talk for today, you know, and the way I feel right now, I feel real calm and comfortable, I mean, not just because of today, but my spirit is calmer. Um, I've been listening to a lot of videos. I've listened to Neville Goddard a lot lately because, uh, you know, and he's been, he was taught by Abdullah, the Ethiopian prophet. So when I realized that, I'm like, yeah. And I've been listening to, you know, I've, I've, I've listened to uh, before. I think I spoke about it on this, on this channel. I've listened to, um, his name will come to me. So Neville Goddard, I've listened to. Um, I started listening to this uh, this guy Krishna. Oh, this, man! <sighs> but I listened to him yesterday. He died in 1986. I know that he was born in 1895. Died in 1986 in Oja, California. Krishna Tuduri, something like that. I listened to him talking about fear. So I've been listening to a lot, listening to a lot of these videos, a lot of different speakers, and I just been I've just been feeling calm, just letting everything go. Just why worry? Why pressure my mind, my mental? Why am I still like I don't care? But I'm just, just let it be, let it go. You know what I'm saying? So many things I want to do, and I don't do it out of fear. And the, the Krishna to I'm. I'm slaughtering his name, and if I pause now to go look up his name, um, you know what? Let me go look it up. Hold on a second. So this is a person. 
and his name is Endi, the ending of fear, Krishna Murti. That's his face, died in 1986. Yes, yeah, so.